Welcome back to the Noob of the Brush channel. I am the host, the Noob himself. And before we get started, I'm reaching out to you as a community. I want to know what content you want to see on this channel in future episodes. I want to continue doing unboxing and hobby news. But if you want to see more, like, like law videos or anything else, please leave a comment below. And we will look into it. Thank you very much. As I mentioned previously in one of my videos, Games Workshop are dropping a lot of scenery kits this year to branch AOS and 40k. Anything and everything to fill our hobby tables. In front of you is the Desolated Township, which is up for pre-order this week at £80. This kit looks amazing. I'd love to get my hands on it myself. So that looks like it can cover everything from a small board to the large board and we'll always have you covered for line of sight blocking terrain and just objective markers galore this is amazing i can't say that enough also the veil of gairan and the azerite townscapes have been released as well these are stuff for pre-order for 60 pound and 32 pound 50 respectively these are filler kits i would say they're not a big big kit but they're just little bits that you need added. Again, exceptional quality from GW. I can't say no more about that. Right then, ladies and gents, now that we've got the uh, scenery out of the way, let's talk about hobby accessories. And in front of you now, Games Workshop have released for pre-order this week the Citadel assembly handle and the Citadel extra large painting handle. Both are going to be amazing for the hobby, especially that extra large one. It's going to be so useful for me, let alone everybody else. Please note, I haven't got them in the picture here, but both sets are, are in sets of three as well, going for £25. Singly, extra large is £8, and the assembly handle is going for £12. Both amazing deals. Also, the joke prize, the paint pot has come out. Going for £5, I know it's not a lot. I can't really say anything. It's a pot that holds water. You can leave your brushes in it. As simple as. That's a review, I'm guessing. That's the best you're going to get from anybody. Now that we've looked at stuff to hold your models, to wash your brushes for your models, let's have a look at some paint. Set release this week are the Citadel Basin Shade, the Citadel Layer and the Citadel Project Paint Sets. All ranging from £125 up to £150. These sets are jammed, packed full of paints and everything you need for your projects. The Citadel Project Paint Set comes with what they were saying is the racks. I don't know whether these clip on into the inside of the box. Or it's just something to store while, you're in, while they're in the box. But all of them just look amazing nice sturdy box if you ever drop them nothing's gonna get damaged absolutely amazing and now is the set that's every hobbyist wet dream the citadel ultimate project set it comes with an array of racks for your accessories your paints it comes with some brushes also comes with a handle absolutely fantastic deal 175 and it's worth every penny and now that we got the pre-orders out the way, I think it's time to go over the news that was dropped Friday at the Blood and Glory seminar. I'm so excited. Let's get into this. First up, we got a new box head coming. Demon players, you're gonna get excited by you. I know I'm getting excited and I haven't played demons for years. Brand new box head from the Realm of Chaos. Wrath and Rapture. Box set is gonna pit Corn versus Slanish. It's a bromance made in hell. But the fantastic thing at the moment, you're getting brand new models. So far they've announced a brand new corn flesh hounds and the fiends of slanish. But if the artwork is anything to go by, might be getting a new herald, because I can see a harp in the background. And we might get a reimagining of Karnak. This is going to be an unbelievable time for all Chaos players. Don't let my excitement take over. 
because also we know there's going to be four brand new battle forces coming out as well as the Aideneth Deepkin. As you can see in the picture above, we got Stormcast Eternals as ever, every year, every release. We got Silverneth, Cornbloodbone, and we got Iron Jaws. But it's not just Iron Jaws, it's Iron Jaws plus a giant. Gonna be fantastic kits. If you want bang for your buck, it looks like the Corn Blood Bound is going to be the best one because it's 40 models. But for quality, you can pick up any of these boxes and they're just going to be fantastic. You would start see Christmas come and go and it'd be a new year, new army. Tell me down below which set you think is going to be the deal of the year. And I now know you're all saying, that's all quite well and good, noob. We've got new boxes, but we haven't had a battle tour in ages. Fear not, boys and girls, we've got one coming. Picture above, can you guess what it is? It's going to be Moon Clan Grotz. It's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to see these boys in the new book, new, new army, new rules. I can't wait to get my hands on this. It's going to be fantastic. Destruction December. It's going to be amazing. You, 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 folks. So fingers crossed when this comes out, we'll get our fungus on and see where this battle tome takes us. It's going to be amazing. As I say on every release. And that's it. Another video over. Thank you all for watching. As you can see on the screen in front of you, the channel has now got a PayPal account. So I call, please, if anybody wants to donate and help the channel out, be very much appreciated. It's going to help me bring you bigger and better content in the future also email addresses below in case you want to email your suggestions for future content and don't forget we have an instagram account at noob with a brush thank you all see you next time